In today's video, we're looking at the functions called right, left, and mid. These are three functions that you could be asked to perform on the Excel 2016 exam. And so we're just going to do a quick overview of these three functions. I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor in B15. In my D column, I have some fake social security numbers. But what I want to do is extract just the last four numbers found in the social security number. And there's a function that can extract that information for me. You guessed it, the function's called right. So with my cursor in B15, I'm going to use the insert function button. On the certification exam, I want to encourage you not to manually hang key in formulas. I say this just because the function builder has some built-in features that could be helpful to you on the exam, such as walking you through a function. But it also gives you a definition. So let me go ahead and type in right. And right here at the bottom of my screen, it says that the right function returns a specified number of characters from the end of a text string. I'll click OK. If you're not familiar with this function or other functions on the exam, the function builder can help you by giving you helps in the function dialog box to help you make the right selections. Our text box is the text string that contains the characters you want to extract. For this, what we're going to do is extract Holly's last four of her social. So I'm going to select D7. My number of characters specifies how many characters you want to extract, one if omitted. So the number of characters I would like to extract are four, because I want the last four of this cell. So I'll type in four and click OK. And notice it went ahead and extracted 7970, even though there were 10 characters within the cell. Let's look at the left function. I have my cursor in B16. For the left function, what we're going to do is we're going to look back at the social security number. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract the first three digits of Ryan's social security number. We'll click the insert function button. We'll type in left. It tells us that this returns a specified number of characters from the start of a text string. We'll click OK. Our text for this is going to be D8. And our number of characters is going to be 3. And we can see that instead of pulling from the right, like the right function did, this one pulled from the left side of this cell, and we just got the 185. The last function that we're going to look at today is called mid. So I'm going to put my cursor in B17. This time, what I'm going to do is just extract the 11 here in Holly Social. We'll click the Insert Function button. We'll type in mid. Mid returns the characters from the middle of the text string, giving a starting position and length. We'll click OK. Our text is going to be D7. Our start number is the position of the first character you want to extract. The first character in a text is 1. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. The fourth position is where I want to begin because I want to pull that 11. So I'm going to select 4. Hit tab or you can click in num characters. This specifies how many characters to return from the text. For this, I just want to extract two numbers, so I'll type in two, and the function builder is showing me that it's going to pull those two numbers. We'll click OK. Let me show you something that could cause you some problems if you were using this formula. So on sheet two, this is a similar cheat sheet that I have for when doing fantasy football. And one of the columns that they have is a position. And what they've done is they've labeled the position number with like RB1, RB2. But when I'm drafting, I don't care about that position. And when I try and filter out, you can see it makes it really difficult. I don't care about the number that's actually there. So let's look at using the left function to fix this problem. So we'll do insert function left. We'll click OK. Our text is going to be E2 for this. And the number of characters that I want is 2. We'll click OK. And We'll fill that through the entire sheet. Now, I just clicked on the bottom right-hand corner instead of clicking and dragging down. That's a little shortcut for you. But I still have a problem. Because I have a position, the kicker, which is one letter to define the position, I have one, two, three, four still. So what I'm going to do is uncheck all the other positions. And what I'm going to have to do is actually just modify my kickers. So I'll start here. I can modify it from the function bar, or if I click the insert function, it brings up this window with the function in it, and I just have to change this from 2 to 1, and I'll click OK. And if I use my drag fill, that fixes my problem.